our native kakanin, I'm going to show you how to make budbud nilambiran. Budbud nilambiran is a, a budbud or a suman which is made with two kinds of rice mixture. One is white, one is brown, and they're twisted together to form a suman or a budbud. We call suman budbud in the Visayas. Let's get started. Set A. This is the white portion. One half kilo of glutinous rice, or they call it pilit or malagkit. You soak it in water for one to two hours and then you drain. Two and a half cups of thick coconut milk. Two thirds cup of white sugar. One half teaspoon salt. One half thumb sized ginger crushed. Set B or the brown portion. One half kilo of glutinous rice or we call it pilit or malagkit. Soak in water for one to two hours, then you drain. Two and a half cups of thick coconut milk, one half teaspoon salt, one cup of Moscovado sugar, two tablespoons of butter. Here, two and a half cups of coconut milk, sugar, salt. We're doing the white portion first, and then you have the ginger. If you don't want to see the ginger, you can crush the ginger and press out the juice. And then you have here the malagkit or the pilit. You stir to mix the sugar and the salt. You bring this to a boil. Once it boils, you reduce the medium heat, you cover, and you cook until it's dry. When the mixture dries up, the rice is not totally cooked yet, but that's all right because we're still going to steam it. Everything's boiling now, so we're going to lower the heat until it dries up. In the meantime, let's make the other portion, the brown portion. Cover this and let's do the other portion. This is the brown portion. So we have the coconut milk. Moscovado sugar. Salt. Butter or margarine is optional. I just like to add it for flavor, for extra flavor. In this case, this one we boil the mixture first before we add in the rice. Because I want to dissolve the Moscovado sugar completely. If you don't have Moscovado sugar, dark brown sugar is fine. However, um, Moscovado sugar has a distinct uh, flavor. It has a molasses flavor, which I find very nice. All right, here you can see that the Moscovado sugar has completely dissolved. So I'm going to add in the rice. This is the soaked pilit or the malagkit. Same thing. We bring this to a boil and then once the whole mixture boils, uh, we lower the heat to medium. And then here, that's boiled now. Okay, give it a little stir. And then lower the heat and continue to cook until the mixture dries up. All right, let's check this one. The first is dry, okay? This is not just cooked. But we will turn this off now because we will continue cooking in the steamer. All right? We will take out the ginger. Alright? And then this one you stir. And then cook it some more until all of the liquid is evaporated. We're almost there. Just a few more minutes and this will be dry. It's useful to use a non-stick pan though. It's not absolutely necessary, but I find it very useful. All right. The residual heat will continue to dry this. So this is ready now. We can take this out. All right, see? So this is done. We will cool it down before we start wrapping. All right. Uh, we now have the two mixtures here. So I'll get one scoop of the brown. Or I, you know, we call this 
Budbud in the Visayas and Mindanao. In Manila, they probably, in the north or in Luzon, they probably call this uh, Suman. Okay. Normally, they would rub this with banana leaves, but if you live in a place where banana leaves are important and expensive, I suggest you use plastic because you only need one plastic, it does not tear, whereas the banana leaves, they tear very quickly, very easily, okay? So, like this. The nice thing also about the plastic, it does not stick, so it's clean. This is, one scoop is about two tablespoons, more or less, two to three tablespoons, all right? And then you put one here, all right? And then, this is how I do, this is what we call tambid, or to put one leg of the, the other, or you twist it, that's why this is called budbud nilambiran, all right? So, you press this together, like this, and then, Okay, then after that, you roll this, take out the extra, and then fold the ends towards the center, and then put two pieces together and tie them, like this. You always put two together, like this, not like that, because you want to avoid water getting inside. Again, you tie. Like this. The banana leaves I got this morning. It's a bit mature, so when you tie, sometimes it breaks. So you steam it like this. Always the fold ends towards the center. I finish wrapping the budbud or the suman. If you have extra banana leaves, use it to line your cooking pot when you put this remember it should always be this side not like that it should be like this so that the water will not go in okay all right and then Fill with water to the top of the uh, suman or the budbud. For those in the north, remember our budbud here in the Visayas and Mindanao is suman to you. It's not the topping, the budbud topping that you make. Okay, see? You have enough water to submerge all of the suman or the budbud. Then you cover with extra banana leaf if you have. You always have those torn ones instead of throwing them. It will actually add extra flavor and also it will like um, sort of steam the wood wood. Okay, so we bring this to a boil. You cook this around 45 minutes to an hour. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Let's check our suman after 45 minutes. So let's take out the banana leaves. Remember I told you the banana leaves encloses the heat so it's like steaming. Okay, so we shut this off. So far, they're all intact. So you take it out. We cool it. After you cool it, you wipe each uh, suman dry and then we're ready to serve.